So it's a pleasure to see you all tonight. I know there's a lot to fit in um, every day, and so especially a Monday feels a little daunting. So we really appreciate you making a priority coming out and being with us tonight. You know, as I reflected on those words of prayer, you know, they certainly are not meant to give the idea that what we have is incomplete, just that it is part of something so much bigger than any of us. Um, this is a, a beautiful story, the story of Morton Papan Academy. And it is amazing to think of the place that we play in it. And it is a critical and very important time for NFA. And we know that we are doing great things and big things. You know, I, I think about in this preparation for the 100th, um, so many of the stories that unfold. And I think to myself, with an incredible amount of confidence, that when Sister James Anthony was here doing major things, she knew it. And everyone knew it. And everyone knew this was a very special time. And I would hope that we are always going to challenge ourselves to have that kind of vision and to see how we can always challenge ourselves to better realize and fulfill the mission of the Sisters of St. Joseph here at Nord Fontfont Academy. It's one of my favorite pictures. Um, sometimes it keeps me up at night because I think about the roof and I think about the trees and I think about um, but at, at this vision, it's kind of like, you know, a picture of me, you know, I look a lot younger and, and cooler from that kind of altitude. But it puts the perspective in of this beautiful place we find ourselves, in this incredible community that is a lot more than the buildings, although the buildings are very important. But it's a community that has made a mark here and has been a, a place of learning and love for so many years, and it continues to grow and thrive and reimagine itself. First and foremost, when we started this process over a year ago, we wanted to make sure that throughout every step of the process, we had at our core the mission of Nord Fontfont Academy, which is founded in the mission and vision of the Sisters of St. Joseph. So that we would use that lens to look at, reflect, with a critical eye, with an eye for growth, everything that we do, to make sure that, that we came back to that process you know, again and again, and certainly, in the discovery phases, and in the drafting phases, and in the creation phases of the plan, everyone, the incredible outpouring of support that has been part of this plan, has looked to that mission and vision to make sure that we are always mission aligned. Uh, I would be remiss if I tried to identify every person who played a role um, in various parts of the planning process, because um, really everyone in here has been a critical part of that process. I certainly do want to thank and recognize an incredible team of co-chairs, um, Paul O'Reilly and Terry Merkel, um, our two co-chairs. Who have uh, kept me sane throughout this process um, and certainly have committed an incredible amount of their time and energy. And I know that so many of you in this room have committed so much for yourselves to this plan. And for that, we are very, very grateful. And for those of you that maybe have felt I wasn't as involved in the plan as I'd like to be, a lot of tonight is letting you know that this is when all the real work begins. And there is, this is all of our plan, and there is so much room for all of you to be part of this plan being fully realized. So in looking at our goal areas, we divided them up into five categories. Um, <coughs> what we'll do to kind of give you an idea of what the process will look like tonight, we'll go through each goal area, and there are multiple objectives under each goal area. And then we'll try to give you some initial thoughts on what are some of the steps we've already been able to take. So what, where's the growth we're already seeing? What were the, the key initiatives that we can tackle right away? And what are the things we're prioritizing for both the next six months and the next 12 years, 18 months? Knowing this plan is going to evolve for the next five years. 